The people that we walk for are generally elderly or the disabled. They can't get out a lot, so it gives the dogs some freedom. We walk on Mondays and Fridays, and for a minimum of an hour, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on how the dogs are doing and how hot it gets. When they came to us, they had really been quite sheltered. They had never had a program in this community for adults with developmental disabilities, ever. And the community wasn't even aware that they were out there living in their own community. Uh, so this, like the dog walking has really brought us out in the community. People go, oh, there, there's, there's the dog walkers, you know, here they are again. And, and, uh, and look, what a great thing they're doing. They feel like they really have a purpose now, as opposed to sitting on the couch and you know, collecting their government check every month and not doing anything. Like, it's Monday, we're dog walking, you know, it's time to go. Get, let's get busy here. I can help him to heal. Lori is applying for a GPS, I think it's called a trekker. At this point, I've been coming along with them on the dog walks, but what we'd like to do is make it completely independent so that we could pick a route before they left, program it into their trekker. They could walk on their own and do it all independently. She's so excited about the whole idea of being, uh, so I can walk dogs myself. And just for her to say that is just amazing. To actually go out there and walk these dogs with her, her peers, but actually do it all by herself and say that she got to the houses, she did everything correctly, and then to be able to come back and say, I did it, would just be a tremendous boost to her self-esteem. So what do you think when you get your GPS, you can find my house? You can come all the way to my house, Lori. Yeah. And then where will you go? Over there, take the dog for a walk? Yeah. Our mandate now is to get people employed. There's no reason why a person with developmental disability can't have a job. We're hoping that with some of these um, aids for them, that they will be able to do things a little better. I know for Lori, we applied for um, an Intel reader. Um, and that would be an incredible aid for Lori, and I think it would open up just a world of opportunities because she can't read. But if she can take something and go click and it reads it to her, well, wow, okay, that's a can of soup. Okay, the man told me to move those cans of soup to that shelf. Well, okay, I can do that. So it's just a whole new world if we can have some of these extra aids. Once they realized that they were actually capable of doing something, the world opened up and now they know, well, you know, working is a good thing. And, you know, working helps other people. It helps me. I got money in my pocket. And maybe, you know what, I don't, and someday maybe I don't have to have a government check. And that's the aim, is we would love to see people getting off of, of government checks once a month. So just give them a chance. I mean, they can do anything you can do and sometimes better.